Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Lou. welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a sort of taboo subject that I've kind of been avoiding due to political sensitivity. But Russia is on the verge of stealing a space telescope. So let's rush on into the details. So you might remember from my previous YouTube video an X-ray space telescope, E-Rosita, whose purpose is to image the entire sky in X-rays eight times over in its planned mission of four years. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can check it out up here. So E-Rosita is a space telescope that is jointly run by the Russians and Germans. The sky is equally split in half. And the telescope itself was launched by the Russian space agency Roscosmos, along with another Russian telescope, ART-XC. As you know, there is currently a conflict between Russia and Ukraine, and this has led to many problems in the scientific community. Many scientific institutes have barred any type of collaboration with Russian scientists. This has halted the progression of many scientific projects, including ESA and Roscosmos' mission to Mars, the ExoMars Rosalind Franklin rover. And then there's my personal baby, the Euclid Space Telescope, which is designed to help us uncover the secrets of the dark universe, dark matter and dark energy. Whilst this mission is purely ESA-led, it was designed to be launched on a Soyuz rocket, a Russian rocket. For the E-Rosita mission, the space telescope is controlled by the Russians, and when the conflict began between them and Ukraine, the scientists of E-Rosita, both Germans and Russians, agreed to put the telescope into a safe mode. At this point, E-Rosita had only collected data for two years, and this saw many of my collaborators who worked on this project quite frustrated. However, they have plenty of data from that already collected to process and analyse in the meanwhile. Now personally, while I can understand that halting collaboration with Russia exerts a pressure on Russian scientists who can then redirect that pressure towards their political leadership to stop the conflict, I feel that Russian scientists themselves are in most cases completely faultless and they might even disagree with the regime itself. It's unfair to them what's happening as it's so important for academics to publish their own research. But they're now finding themselves isolated from collaborators and with many journals refusing to even publish their work. If you think back to World War I in Germany, if the same thing had happened then, we wouldn't have had Einstein and the theory of general relativity. Einstein back then had to flee Germany during World War II in order to continue his research. In any case, the biggest issue at the moment is perhaps the head of the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, called Dmitry Rogozin. Rogozin had recently hit the headlines with his public spat with NASA astronaut Scott Kelly after sharing footage of the removal of international flags on a Russian rocket. Kelly's response was then, without those flags, your space program won't be worth a damn. Maybe you can find a job at McDonald's if McDonald's still exists in Russia. And of course, Rogozin retaliated by suggesting that Russia could deorbit the International Space Station, which would then be held on Kelly's conscience. Now, in the case of E-Rosita, on June 4th, Rogozin gave the instructions to continue the observations with the telescope against the will of both the German and Russian scientists involved in the project. His reasoning is that it's necessary for science. Since E-Rosita was built by the Germans and these owners do not give permission to resume its work, from a legal perspective, this is essentially theft. So what now? Well, if it really does happen, this will cause tremendous harm to any potential collaboration with international partners in the future. Whilst it's true that current science projects with Russians have been put on hold, Roscosmos will have lost any trust to enable any type of collaboration even after the conflict is over. It's a tricky situation and it's still unclear exactly what's going to happen. 
So how exactly do you steal a space telescope? Well, I guess one way is to start a war. What's your take on this whole situation? Let me know in the comments section below. And in the meanwhile, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.